Hello and welcome back to Fallout 76. Today I am on the public test server to have a little bit of silly fun with one of the new four star legendary effects. So I was looking through the effects that I haven't tried yet and I ran across Choo Choo's and I remember seeing this when they were first announced and thinking I wanted to try this at some point and I kind of forgot about it. But it is a power armor only effect. It gives you a 10% chance for 500 damage and bloody mess when sprinting into targets up to a 50% chance on a full stack. So a full set of armor with all of this, uh, this on every piece gives you a 50% chance to do 500 damage and bloody mess. Now, what I've observed on this is that uh, sometimes you'll get the damage, but not the bloody mess. So I'm not really sure what's going on underneath the hood there. If maybe there are separate chances, like you have a chance at one and then you get a separate chance at the other. I'm not quite sure how that works. Now, this is uh, similar. It's similar and different to the pain train perk. Uh, pain Train perk triggers every time. It's not a chance to thing. Uh, and Pain Train says it devastates and staggers enemies by sprinting into them with power armor. So it's the same thing, except the devastate part is kind of a lie. Pain Train doesn't really do all that much damage, but the stagger could be very useful. For the moment, we're going to try this. Uh, we're going to try this with and without Pain Train in conjunction. So I have a full set of power armor. Uh, it is uh, Union power armor, and every piece has the Choo Choo's effect. So we will be getting the 50%. And this is one of those things where the build doesn't actually matter. Uh, I have unequipped Pain Train and I've unequipped uh, Ricochet because I want to see what this does just with uh, the power armor alone. And then we'll put those perks back on and uh, see how, how they work together. It can actually be pretty effective. Now, I said the build doesn't matter, but uh, there are things you could do. I mean, since we'll be sprinting a lot, might as well equip full charge, which basically means when you're sprinting, it doesn't take any extra fusion core energy, so your fusion cores won't drain any quicker by sprinting. And also, power user, our fusion cores will last twice as long. And if you really wanted to go overboard, I'm not going to equip this perk, but if you really wanted to go overboard, you could uh, use the legendary perk Power Sprinter, which at maximum rank will use 50% uh, less AP, which means you can just run a lot farther. Now, I am using Marathoner, so that means our sprinting will use less AP as well. All right, let's zoom this out as much as we possibly can and just start running. And we'll start with some soft targets. I mean, ghouls are not the toughest thing in the world, but that'll get a chance to actually see it in action. Get that 50% chance. Now, one thing I have noticed is that the hitbox is quite generous on this. Is some, I mean, just being near an enemy. Now, that could be that could be actually a tough thing. Is uh, there we go. See, I was I was sprinting and it ran into me and uh, it triggered the. Uh, it triggered the effect, but you can see uh, we we have a bunch of bodies here Now some of them died some of them triggered bloody mess some of them like this one didn't right this one just died It didn't trigger bloody mess and it still died So I'm not really sure what's going on with that It, it seems like it I mean at least the way it acts like they're like they're separate things like they're separate chances I don't know if that's how it's working if it's a bug or what uh, But that's what I've observed, but you can see 50% of the time uh, Kind of feels to me like it's actually more than that, to be honest. To be honest. It, it feels like I'm killing these enemies. And so, so this one died, didn't trigger bloody mess. This one, so it almost feels like maybe there, there are different chances. And so the 50% chance, like you're getting two 50% chances. Because uh, see, this one was on the other side of the barricade. You, the hitbox is very generous. So it feels like maybe you have a 50% chance at uh, de uh, the damage and then another 50% chance at Bloody Mess, which means you're going to kill enemies most of the time because Bloody Mess just kills them, right? It just explodes them and they're dead. So, yeah, I I'm not quite sure how it's working, but it's very, very effective. It's very frequent, too. Uh, it's, <laughs> I mean, this one right here. He, I mean, I was here. I ran to this target and this one died. It doesn't say anything about area of effect, so I'm not really sure what's going on with that, but uh, you can see, <laughs> and there's a couple of bloody messes right there. So we're still working with just the armor, no perks or whatever. I just wanna see how how this armor does against these uh, targets that are here. Oh, it triggered. All right, so, well, did it trigger? Yeah, it triggered. It took almost all of his health. And that one, yeah, see, it almost took most of his health. Or it, or it took most of his health. It didn't almost do it. It took most of his health. And uh, the terrain, obviously, having a nice flat runway would be super helpful. But see, now this isn't triggering. It was triggering a lot at the uh, against the ghouls. There we go. And got him and finish you off. There we go. So it's kind of, it's, uh, yeah, this is a lot of fun. <laughs> this is a lot of fun. When I was messing around with this uh, yesterday, I... Uh, I found myself just looking for places on the map to go and running around uh, 
running through enemies just because it was it's 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 highly entertaining i mean it's completely ridiculous and of course we can make it more ridiculous by adding in perks and other things which we'll be doing i think i can just run into this there we go just run into that and come on and yeah, i'm not sure what happened there because sometimes it almost feels like there's a little bit of a delay and other times it's just kind of stubborn it doesn't want to trigger uh there's another guy over here shooting at me let's see what we can do with him Apparently nothing. Apparently that's there's nothing we can do right here. Okay. <laughs> and I didn't even hit him. I ran into this little barricade. He's in such a good spot. And uh, yeah, the, the proximity is kind of funny. It just seems like some of the times just having the enemy near near something you run into is enough. So it's almost like it has a tiny area of effect. I, I don't know that it does, but it kind of behaves like maybe that's what's going on. All right, so we've thrown on Pain Train. Now, Pain Train will... It only does a little bit of damage, so it's only going to add a little bit of extra damage, but it does trigger every time, and the stagger can be useful. So that way, if you run into something and it doesn't trigger the effect, you know, the uh, armor effect, uh, stagger and the enemy should keep them from running after you, and then you can have another chance to come around for another shot. And we've got Ricochet, so some of those range attacks will deflect back and uh, kill the enemies that way too. So this is a pretty good synergy we've got going between Pain Train, Ricochet, and the armor effect. I do like the, when, when you're running, I do like the power armor sprint. You kind of lean in with that left shoulder like you're, you're, you're playing football or something. So here we go. There is that. And we stagger. <laughs> see? You can see the stagger. So you saw this guy. He staggered. So that would have been pain train. And then the armor effect. Uh, and then bloody mess. Okay. And bloody mess can, can uh, actually trigger after the enemy's dead if you run through a corpse or something. So... And we uh, took care of, took care of both of them. Uh, I, I gotta say, this is really fun. Probably this isn't you're you're probably not gonna have a main character that plays this way. It, it probably wouldn't do well in events. Really, not all events are very conducive to this kind of playstyle. But for something just you want to screw around, uh, this is definitely a lot of fun. Uh, okay. The downside is if the train doesn't cooperate, you can end up with a situation where you can't really run into the enemy. So even being near, okay, so we got that one. I think it would be funny, now this is a power armor only effect. I would, I think it'd be very funny as if you could put this on anything. Imagine like a, like level one armor, level one light, you know, leather armor and you put this on. I think that would be <laughs> tremendously fun. But you can see, I mean, it's very, it's very, very effective. It's not, uh, yeah, I don't know. There, there's no way I can make a case where this makes any kind of sense to do. Other than just for entertainment purposes, there's you know obviously more effective ways to uh, to kill things. Uh, I don't know if there's more entertaining ways. I mean, this is this is definitely not something you want to do to try and take out a scorch beast. Uh, I think a Myrlet Queen would probably be pretty frustrating as well. I mean, 500 damage is pretty good, but they uh, they have so much health. You'd be <laughs> there. We go. You'd be uh, running into them over and over again. There we go. All right, if you really want to dial up the silliness, what you could do, you can add in, you have unstable isotope, which gives a radiation effect when you take melee damage. And there's electric, electrically charged, which also does the same thing, only it gives electric damage or shock effect if you are attacked by melee damage. You could do that. And you can see we're wearing um, Strangler Heart Power Armor with the same effect on it. Now, Strangler Heart really isn't, it doesn't do a lot of damage, but it's just, you know, it's piling on top to try and add to the ridiculousness of it. I do think it's funny, too, running along with uh, covered in vines. And we just have no... Oh, a sheep squatch. All right, I'm not sure how this is going to... Do. Oh, okay. It's actually... Do well, I actually did a fair bit of damage against that sheep squatch. So, all right. I haven't done one of these. I haven't fought a big enemy yet. But let's see if we can take out a sheep squatch doing this. Uh, I mean, we've taken out a pretty good amount of health. So, and all the damage over... You know, all the little bits. Little bits and pieces doing damage. We're just kind of charging over and over again. Now, one thing that could be... I don't know if they can be staggered. Because the pain train can stagger them. That would actually be... I mean, we're doing okay. Sort of. Definitely not a speed kill. But it looks like we'll be able to actually take them out. So, that's... That's kind of... I mean, this is just so dumb. I, I think that's what I like about it. Anything that's really dumb that actually could kill the enemies, I just... I just really like and I spent a lot of time testing out this effect yesterday just running around the map and because it's a lot of fun and now we just, we're just charging each other here we go there we go. that's I mean, it's actually pretty decent damage when the effect triggers sheep squatches are rather tanky it's just having to get up ahead of steam being able to run and of course if you get staggered back what is the health bar looking like anyway 
Uh, all right, so that's doing something. Some one of the effects we have so many things going right now. One of the effects that we have is actually doing something. We're slowly eating up that health bar. Uh, yeah, I don't know. My other queen would probably be kind of tough, and I don't think I want to try that. But I wasn't planning to do this either. This just kind of come on. Here we go. I think we did. Yeah, look at that. We took we took out a sheep squatch without uh, just by running into them over and over again. That's kind of fun. So a lot of changes have been made to the effects, you know, since they've been introduced, some have been adjusted. They've even removed at least one of them. So I would expect this effect to actually go through unchanged just because it's not something that people are going to uh, probably fill their armor with for the most part. There's other effects that are gonna be more beneficial because most people like to use guns. But for those of us that like to do things that are a little ridiculous, I think this is the perfect effect. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, please hit one of the buttons and I hope you join me in the next one. Thank you very much.